We are following a tragic story in Bedford County. We are on the scene of a fire that killed four people in a rural area in Unionville on Kingdom Road. Here is a look from Air 4 now. Police say two children ages 9 and 7 were killed along with their step grandparents who were both in their 70s. Channel 4's Anne McCoy is live in Unionville with the latest and such a horrible story here. It is a horrible story, Holly. The fire started 13 hours ago now, and in the last couple hours, we've still seen smoke coming from the home. It's just behind the shed, uh, just behind me here. And the cause of that fire still under investigation. What we do know at this point is that the two young children, uh, the step grandchildren of the couple, were in the home with their grandparents when it burned down. It was the Unionville home Leon and Molly McLaren raised their children in, and for the last five years, they've been raising their step-grandchildren here, nine-year-old Chloe and seven-year-old Gage. He had a great big heart. He loved his step-grandchildren, and the little boy followed him everywhere he went, and they just had a good relationship, the little girl. They, they loved him. Last night, fire leveled the McLaren's home. Bedford County Sheriff's officials got the call at 11 p.m., but the family never made it out. Leon's son watched his parents' home burn. Dreaded sight of watching the whole bottom floor fall into the full basement. The McLaren's neighbor says her children used to go over there to play. They went to school with them, and they played all the time. They would run up and down the driveway and just had a good time all the time. Leon McLaren Jr. says his family is still in shock, left with a helpless feeling. I can't believe it uh, to know that your parents is in there. It's, it's not a good feeling. And the only thing the family says getting them through this tragedy, through this horrible day, is remembering those two, Molly and Leon, and also the children. Molly was a breast cancer survivor, and uh, the couple in their early 70s, uh, they were still very strong raising those grandchildren and taking care of this farm behind me. Investigators still trying to figure out what the family was doing last night when uh, the fire did start. I'm reporting live in Unionville, Anne McCloy, Channel 4 News.